Okay, so here we have a closet door that uh, we're no longer going to be using as stuff has gotten redone in the house. So, we're going to show you what you can do with one of these old closet doors, you know, from the 80s, 90s, 70s. This is a closet door from like 1990 that was original with the house. And... Um, Madison, uh, got a plan, huh? Well, yeah, waste not, want not. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that I just found in the garage. And I'm going to turn that into like a, an old Parisian French kind of door. So that I can put it in our living room. Because I don't have enough artwork in there and I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to make something for free. Stay tuned. Random materials. And somebody in the background doing burnouts. So I'm going to get this centered and then I'm going to um, nail it on yeah. and start painting. So what's the idea here? I'm going to make it look, look like an old French door. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, confident? I don't know. I usually just make it up as I go along. So just this is old stuff that was laying around in the garage, huh? Yep. Just bunch of stuff laying in the garage. But I have an idea for a doorknob that I have. How's it going? Good. I, get, only... I, get, I get the idea. Huh? Your only what? My only setback is that my husband cut these at the 45 degree angle and he was guesstimating so this is as good as it gets dump them dump my husband yeah yeah i thought about that but... get a real man <sighs> like me yeah right. paint well, i'm gonna put down a black base and then uh just, I'm just going to use uh, chalk paint. I'm going to put a black base on, then I'm going to do a crackle paint, and then I'm going to put white over the top, so it's just going to look really old. And I don't really care if it's perfect, because I'm going to make it look old. Can you put another coat on there? I don't think so. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I'm going to do the crackle paint next and then white over the top. Do you think that's a good idea, Hugo? I'm putting crackle, crackle medium. And then you overlay the white on top of that. Yep. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to put <clears throat> the white over the top of that. And then what's going to shine through <clears throat> are the, is the black through the cracking in the white paint. Now, now what are you doing? Now I'm going to put the white on. 
This is this is the crackle, right? No, crackle I've already put on. This is going to be the white paint that goes over the top. Yeah, that's going to crackle. It's going to crackle, right. It's crackling quick. Yep. You can literally see it already doing its deal. Crackle's done, and then what's the next step? And I'm going to put some stencil on it to look like it's a coffee and chocolate place. And then I'm going to start dry brushing it. So I've got to get these laid where I want them. And then I'm going to put What do you think, Hugo? Yeah, he's still okay with it. It's good to know. So the premise is the so door door. Coffee it. shop. The coffee shop. Coffee and chocolate door. Coffee and chocolate. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Can you get on that? I'll give it my best. That's what the stencil will be. Let's do the top of the door. Doing some border? Yeah. So remember, this was one of these. This looks a little different. Slightly. You having fun? Yeah. Are you sure? I am. Always. Age it a little bit. I don't know what's that mean. 
I'm going to put a dark brown wax on it. It's amazing that was a closet door, huh? Yeah, yeah. After what it looks like now on the left, what it used to look like on the right. So that's what you can do with these old closet doors from the 80s and 90s that are just made out of, you know, fake wood and worthless, and it's more of a pain in the butt to throw it away but here's here you got a canvas right here it's pretty awesome and uh, people would have no clue so anyway enjoy she's over here taking pictures of her own stuff yep. until next time all it was my idea just so everybody knows yeah it was my idea the uh, the closet door from the 80s and 90s that's totally worthless that you can't throw away or give to anybody looks in the house so uh, it really is pretty amazing what you can do with garbage so anyway there's some ideas for you a little bit of paint got some old junk and uh, you're looking good so it goes real well in here Got that dark floor done yesterday, and now we're working on some areas over in here, and then the kitchen's going to be the big thing, and uh, we'll let you know how that goes. Bye-bye. But anyway, the final. There it is.